Hello students, today we're going to talk about verbs some more, but we're going to talk about finding the verb and the subject in our sentences, okay? So we've talked about finding a subject in our sentence and, sub and our subject and talking about finding the verb in our sentence. Now let's bring them together and do a review of finding the verb and then finding our subject. So first, you really want to find the verb first in your sentence because it'll help you more easily to find the subject in your sentence. So, to find the verb, you're going to ask, what is the action in the predicate? Okay, so remember, a verb can be, can show an action, something that's being done, or it can be a state of, a state of being. But here, we're going to talk about the action that's being done in the predicate part of the sentence. In the predicate because remember our verb is always in the predicate part of the sentence so we're going to ask what is the action being done in the predicate part of the sentence and then to find the subject you will ask who or what did that action okay so we're going to find the action and then we're going to ask who or what did that action okay so let's look at our first sentence here. Mom parks the car. So what's the action being done in the predicate? Well, parks. That's what's being done. That's the action. Parking the car. All right? So this is our verb. This is the action that's in the predicate. And what is our subject? Well, we would ask, who parks the car? Who? Well, mom parks the car. Mom. So we know mom is our subject because it's answering who or what did that action. So who parked the car? Who's parking the car? Mom is parking. Mom parks. Okay? Jesus cares for us. Cares is the action being done. This is an action you don't see. You just know it's being done. It's still an action. So, Jesus cares. Cares is our verb. It's the action being done in the predicate part of our sentence. And who or what cares for us? Well, Jesus. Jesus cares for us. Jesus cares for us. So, Jesus is our subject. Cares is our verb. Now, the subjects are in the subject part of the sentence, and our verbs are in the predicate. Okay, and the next one, the turtle walks slowly. The little turtle walks so very slowly. So, what is the action in our predicate part of the sentence? Walks. Walks is the action that is being done. And who or what walks slowly? The turtle is what walks slowly. The turtle walks slowly. So we know that the turtle is our subject because it answers the question, who or what did that action in the predicate? The action is walk. Who or what walks slowly? The turtle walks slowly. She washes the dishes. Okay? So what is the action being done in our predicate part of the sentence? Washes. Washes is our verb. It's the action being done, washing the dishes. But who or what washes the dishes? Well, she. She is our subject. She washes the dishes. Okay, so we know she is our subject because it answers the question, who or what? And the, the answer of the question is the action. Who or what washes the dishes? Washes is the action being done in the predicate part of our sentence. And for our last sentence, my dog runs in the meadow. Okay, so what is the action that's being done in the predicate part of the sentence? Runs. Runs is the action being done. It is the verb because it is showing the action, and it's in the predicate part of our sentence. And we would ask who or what is running in the meadow? Well, my dog. My dog 
runs in the meadow. So we know that dog is the subject, not my, but the dog is what is running in the meadow. So dog runs in the meadow. So our verb, when you want to find the verb in your sentence, you ask what is the action being done in the predicate part of my sentence? What action is being done? And then when you find that action, which is the verb, then you ask, well, who or what is doing that action in the predicate? Then you will find your subject, okay? So who parks? Mom. Who cares? Jesus. Who walks? The turtle. Who washes? She washes. Who runs? The dog runs, okay? So all of these in the predicate are your verbs. They tell you the action. And then the subject, you ask who or what is doing that action, and you will find the subject in your sentence. So when you're wanting to find the subject and the verb, ask these questions, and you will find them very easily. Very good, students. That'll be all for today. Bye.